Good morning, everybody. Eugene Bear here with his green cup of coffee, French vanilla cream. Uh, I got out my uh, contemporary gospel CD, and I read the songs that are on the back. I'm going to do a teaching today, uh, and the wind is mentioned, and I'm going to sing a song whether in the teaching or right after the teaching, part two. The songs that are on my 1997 Contemporary Gospel CD, because I took music, secular music and bass lines. I did not try to make it uh, spiritual, spirituals, spiritual songs of uh, religious people singing in church. I more or less took bass lines and music like a Jimmy Buffett style, a country style, a Junior Walker, uh, 60s style, rock and roll, harmonica, blues. I took all these different styles of music and put words of life with them. Uh, David had wrote songs, psalms, teaching psalms, uh, psalms of ascent or worship. Or, or chant to the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, El, El Yan Father. So I wrote these songs. It's a heart condition, my friend. That And that's kind of a country song and the name of the CD. Also, uh, I had, I wear different hats on different teachings. That's Hebrew font, letters, smallest one, value of 10, Y. And I had a hat that my brother-in-law bought for me when I went to Denver. Very nice hat, kind of a Australian outback hat more than country. But I had that on, <clears throat> but I changed to my white hat when I saw uh, this picture of me holding my old 63 L1800 P base, precision base, with a white hat on. Okay, now... It's a heart condition, my friend. Put on and stand. Lord, lift me up. My eyes, sacred secret or the mystery. Uh, it's a race. I know your name. Set free. I only I and that I may know him. Those are the 10 songs on my CD recorded in Scottsdale in 1997. <clears throat> I have more songs and the song I'm going to sing after this teaching is called The Wind is Blowing. And uh, I have another 10 songs ready to go and another 10 after that. But I hope maybe uh, with the new band I'm playing, I've just joined the Eddie Joe Clark band. Very good band. Nice, strong country song because Eddie Joe plays Steel, uh, which I think the Steel was created or developed in Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken. Scripture today, Gospel of John, red letters, the Lord speaking. And three verses of Scripture that I'm going to read, try to read before I teach. Let's see if I can read all the way through it. <clears throat> Jesus answered, Nicodemus, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter, and that's the key word, enter, into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind, and that's, I wrote a song about the wind is blowing. All right, <clears throat> three verses. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hear, or hearest, because I'm reading King James, Hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell from hence it cometh and whither it goeth. So it, so is every one that is born of the Spirit. Okay, uh, you can't tell from whence it comes. You go on here, testimony, witness, heavenly things, all right, came down from heaven. All right, the wind or the spirit came down from heaven because the one Holy Spirit of truth teaches truth. 
The Lord said, I was born for this purpose. I came out of heaven or from heaven into your world. For this purpose, I was born and came into the world to bear witness or testimony to the truth. And those that are born of spirit, born of the truth, hear my voice or hear my teachings. So the Holy Spirit said seven times to seven churches in Revelation, he that hath an spiritual ear heareth what hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, or people that are born again, because you must be born of the Spirit, Nicodemus, to see the kingdom of God or to enter the kingdom of God. So there's a key, <laughs> key of David, an open door that God opens and no man can shut. But if you go through the door, it's freedom and liberty in the spirit of truth. So I wear a brass key, which represents an open door in the spiritual realm or in heaven to me. And that's better than wearing a cross. It's through and beyond the cross, through and beyond the blood, through and beyond resurrection, part one, part two, part three, and part four. Did you know that resurrection has four parts? Well, it does. Okay. And we go on here in the, the teaching in red letters. It's life. It's life. God sent his son. Light, 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 light. Six times light. All right. With the key verse, 21. I am reading in 321. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. And you go on and you find we're in the Old Testament here. We're in the Gospel of John. All right. Before the cross, we're under Moses' law, Old Testament. Grace and the New Covenant, the New Testament, doesn't start till cross and resurrection. So we're before the cross and resurrection, before the Lord's death. Here we're in the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, it talks about a bridegroom and the, vo the voice of the bridegroom and the bride in Revelation. But here it's speaking about a bridegroom. He is head of the bridegroom body. Now bridegroom and bride and lamb, lion, belongs to the Old Testament, belongs to Israel. These are words and examples and titles that belong to the chosen nation, the one nation out from among nations that came short of the glory of God. They wanted ritual and tradition and law. They went down with Moses' ship. They did not go up with the Lord. Only a remnant or a few love the Lord and stayed faithful, faith into Christ's anointing, all right? Most of Israel is still practicing law, part one, Old Testament, okay? But we're to be born again and enter into spirit life, part two. And it ends that way too. You get life in 15, life in 16. You get life twice over in 36, all in chapter three. It's eight minutes. <clears throat> uh, the wind is blowing. Can't you feel it? The wind is blowing. Can't you hear it? Can't you hear what the wind is saying? I'm going to sing that song and play bass and all the verses. I'll explain them to you right after this teaching. I'm Bernie Bear, the spirit teacher, the truth teacher. I was called and ordained of the Lord at the age of 30. I am now 73. I am praying the Lord give me good health for the next 10 years of my life from 73 to 83 that I can teach the truth of the word of God. He that is sent of the Lord teaches the word of the Lord. Throw away those commentaries. Throw away those books. Get into the book of life the Holy Bible of truth, the word that the Holy Spirit wrote through the minds of men is the only book you need. God loves you. Learn how to read. Read daily. Learn how to study. There's a difference. And the Lord will bring you to the hope of eternal life in glory. Love you.
Bye.